Hello and welcome to lesson four of the grade five theory online course. In this lesson the teaching aims are to learn about augmented and diminished intervals and also to learn about the double sharp and the double flat sign. So augmented and diminished intervals. An interval in music is defined as a distance in pitch between any two notes. The larger the interval between the notes, then the greater the difference in pitch between the notes. So there are five or six different intervals that you can get, and they're all listed here. So you've got your perfect intervals, you've got your major intervals, you've got your augmented intervals, you've got the minor intervals, you've got diminished intervals, and you've got compound intervals. Now all of these are now going to be shown within the book. So we've already discovered and talked about major intervals in previous books and also minor intervals. So the new interval that we're going to be looking at here will be the augmented interval. So an interval becomes augmented when we extend the major or perfect interval by one semitone without changing the letter name. So for example, if we look at a major second like C to D and make the second note a D sharp, then we've made the interval wider by one semitone. So it's now an augmented interval. So C to D sharp is called an augmented second. And it's the same, obviously, in perfect intervals too. So here we've got an example C to G, which is a perfect fifth. So if we make it C to G sharp by widening the interval, uh, we can then call it an augmented fifth. So the opposite of the augmented intervals is the diminished intervals. So if we flatten a perfect interval by one semitone, we've made a diminished interval. So an interval that is half a step smaller than a major or perfect or a minor interval is called a diminished interval. So any size of interval can be used for augmented or diminished. And so here's an example here underneath of a diminished fifth. So you've got C to G, which is a fifth, but if you put a flat on it, C to G flat becomes a diminished fifth. So let's have a talk about compound intervals now. So all the intervals we've looked at so far have just gone up to one octave. These are called simple intervals. But you can get intervals that are larger than one octave. So when you get that, these intervals are called compound intervals. So a compound interval is any musical interval that's larger than an octave as opposed to a simple interval, which is smaller than an octave. So here's an example of how you can make one interval into a compound interval. So you've got the notes C and E, which is a simple interval, very close to each other. Now, if you want to make that into a compound interval, you raise the E by an octave, so it's more than an octave higher, and that gives you a compound major third. Right, and then you go on to a section which looks at double sharps and double flats. So a double sharp or double flat sign is sometimes needed to write an augmented or diminished interval correctly. On a double sharp sign you raise the note by two semitones. And there's an example here of a double sharp written. And a double flat sign, you lower the note by two semitones, as shown by the example here. So then you move into the tasks uh, to finish this lesson four off. So it says, first of all, identify the following intervals, which are shown in the book here. Then it says write the following intervals from the given notes and then you have to write a compound major third, 
diminished fourth, or ended fifth, a major second, seventh, and a minor sixth. And that completes lesson four.